commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 16 Hostel League Round of 32 Group G. We have Tarp Man, my man, as the Red Zerg 12 o'clock location. Bottom right hand corner, we have Do Life starting as the Green Terran. He's listed as Bloomster here. And I thought I saw Do Life already in this grouping. So it might be, I don't know, but I'm just going to assume it's Do Life regardless. This is on Neo Sylphid. Again, my heart is out for Tarpman. Hope he's going to take it. But this is, I also should mention that this is the final matches. The winner's match. Uh, the, sorry, the group two was empty. The loser's match was empty. So they may have been played. I just do not have the replays for them. Hoping we have all of the replays for the round of 16. We'll have to see. Overlord making its way bottom left for Tarpman. I'm going to say Tarpman plus plus. Which he will understand, but nobody else will. Actually, kind of an inside joke within a certain server group, but uh, I actually thought it would be interesting to have an inclusive inside joke, where the moment you say it, everybody gets it once upon a time. I was figuring that would be like a, like a get everybody in a group to say like, you know what we really need is a catchy phrase to say in unison. And if you can get everybody to say that like in unison, Immediately, it's like instantaneously you're inside the joke for the next time it happens. Fortunately, I think people just mostly look look at you like, what's wrong with you? I like the thought of that regardless. 12th Hatchery. I think that's when you, uh, yeah. Is that this, would you say the solidification of a friendship when you have an inside joke? Not sure. Or is it just an outgrouping thing where it's like, these people don't know our jokes? Six o'clock location being checked by Dulife to find the Overlord spotting nothing. He's going to continue to the north. Drone is going to get first scout. And Dulife, upon seeing the hatchery, let's see if he goes, cancels this marine and opts to go for a command center as a follow-up. So hatchery spotted, drawing back to the main. Drone spots lack of gas, which is all the critical information I think Tarpman needed, so he's going to try to evacuate with that drone. He is going to be able to peel it back. Spawning pool, interesting. So spawning pool, third hatchery in base, and a late gas for Tarp, which makes me think this is going to be quick Hydralisk play or a quick Zergling play, and that's in Life's face. So I'm almost wondering if this is going to be three hatch Zergling is more the style of build they're seeing to start. This isn't indicative of... Uh, it's possible we'll see even Lurker play out of this. Initial Zergling's constructed. Drone's making the way into gas. I did love the timing from Ad and Tap, by the way, previous game. I do want to mention this. Going for the surround immediately as Zergling speed was kicking in. So hiding, doing a great job of hiding information. Do life going for that Engineering Bay into 5 racks play which surprises me a lot upon seeing maybe this, I mean, potentially this is old school three hatch mutalisk. Potentially as that layer being mutated and the plus one five racks is very, very strong against that, but it does also tend to be weak against Zergling floods. And being that this is a rampless natural expansion map, I'm surprised to see that attempt without any sort of follow-up clutter at the natural expansion. So hatchery up, layer morphing. Yeah, now we're seeing a few additional zerglings being built. Do we have zergling speed? Yeah, zergling speed is being upgraded. Plus one weapons and academy. So and a stereotypical anti-mutalist build. A hydralist then is being constructed. So unfortunately for do life, this could be a Zergling Lurker bust, and he may not have a lot of troops to deal with it, nor detection. Although he will have that, he'll have the uh, engineering bay out, but picking off turret, uh, turrets of the natural expansion with Lurker Floods can be game ending maneuvers. We will see as Tarp Band continues. Lurker tech being upgraded, grabbing that extractor. So yeah, gonna go for three hatch lurker play. Haven't seen that in a while. 
Glad to see it here, though. Two additional barracks being tacked on. With stim and range. It looks like a comsat, two comsat stations are being added on, and those are going to be huge once they're finished. If they find the Hydralis Den, that will be emergency mode. Just start building bunkers and everything else at the natural. But if not... Ooh, and yeah, this is going to be a big dedication of troops late. So we're going to, as the compsats are finished, immediately finds the Hydralis Den with one compsat. So now let's see. Yeah, it needs to get a bunker, maybe even two, stranding that SCV so the bunker not going to complete. More Zerglings grouping up. Marines now in a protective situation, but Tarpman grabbing that 9 o'clock location behind this. So rather than going for a large dedication, it looks like he just wants a soft contain of Zerglings. And do life holding defensively. It looks like he did not opt for the 4th and the 5th. Barracks instead is migrating to 3 barracks play. Lurker is morphing outside the natural for Tarp. We do see a factory being built which will bring science vessels out fairly early. So nice response and defense. Yeah, additional bunkers. Just in case it was a lurker all in. Although it looks like Tarpman wants to follow this with... Uh, and I've seen... I'm trying to think who else I saw do this, which I thought it was really, really clever because CompSat needs to be preserved. So you do oftentimes manage to get additional troops. Nice positioning there from Tarpman, just kind of hitting the absolute corner. The bunker is being completely filled, so Dulife is certainly going to be able to hold on to the later stages of this match. Starport Machine Shop, so wanting to go for a siege tank follow-up. Maybe go for it. tanks. Unsiege tanks do range lurkers. Evolution Chamber and Hive Tech now for Tarpman, so wants to go for the transition once he still hasn't capped that third gas, however and does need to get that online ASAP if he's going to go for that style of follow-up. Plus one carapace being upgraded. I assume he's going to go for the Hydra Lurk. The Filer late game play with Plague. And with those three bunkers that have been planted, I think he'll be able to swing it without too much trouble. Plus one weapons right there. Even... With the well, actually, this is a good amount of troops feel that it is possible that Dulife could clear the front. I don't see any other additional. Well, now some hydro is being produced for Tarpman, maybe to go for a defensive second line should that front line be breached. The Zerglings actually pulling away. So the Lurkers left, everything else pulling away into a more defensive slot. Science facility being built, but yeah, Siege Tech finished. One tank out, second tank being built. Dulife compsatting the main. Seeing Hive Tech finishing, Defiler Mound is uh, just starting as well. And so now, let's see if Do Life just goes for a third. Lurkers recognizing that they're under Siege Tech threat, just unburrowing and taking a few steps back. Science Vessel being constructed. More Lurkers scurrying towards the front lines. Another Comsat from Do Life. Actually, did I... Not sure I got the right thing. Do life able to sneak through the lines, taking a little bit of fire. Siege tank a little bit too far forward. Still wanting to clear out these lurkers on the front without marine support. One lurker under this comsat. Looks like it might die. Lurkers burrowing along the other edge, trying to protect an overlord. Looks like the overlord not saved, nor the lurkers. However, Tartman in a good position. He's got worker lead. Drones pulling out, Defiler and Consume upgrading. Plus one weapons not too long, but does he have, he does not have a Sutton Colony yet at the natural expansion. Nor Lurkers there. Zerglings making their way back with the Lurkers. They want to, they're going to need to pounce on this Medic Marine grouping. As Do Life, staging forward with those siege tanks, wants to go for a bust at the natural expansion. And he has all the tools to do so. The Zerglings flooding forward. Want to pick off those siege tanks as quickly as they can. One siege tank down. The Zerglings attacking. Lurkers burrowing, getting a few troops. Weakening one of the medics. And it looks like Dulife is going to expand behind this. 
and get that third base. Lurker's backing up under that siege tank fire. I'm looking for a defiler. There's the defiler here to save the day. So now it's going to... So Tartman's put himself in a position where he's in a pretty good supply spot. New Life is getting that third base to go for more macro, attacking on a lot of additional barracks, getting that second starport up. Maybe looking to drop some irradiates. We do have that Spire, but no Scourge in the air as of yet. Second Evolution Chamber dropping as well. And it looks like the main in the bottom left also being secured by Tarpman. There's some Scourge, actually. Zergling running forward to spot to see whether this could be a quick dive with those Scourge to wipe out some units. No Plague Upgrade. Oh, sorry, there's the Plague Upgrade from Tarpman. So it looks like he does want to transition to mid-game uh, Muta. Actually, with the Claws upgrade, it makes it... Yeah, there's the Ultralis Cavern. So going to upgrade Plague, but rather than going for what has been very popular in a Hydra Plague style, is going for Carapace upgrades, Claw upgrades, and wants to stick to more Ultralis Ultraling for late game. Plus two weapons being upgraded, second starport with a control tower. Be online shortly. There it looks like a plague did land mid map, missed the science vessel, but did hit the siege tank. Do life really hasn't been diligent dropping a lot of irradiates at this stage of the match, which is giving Tarpman the time he needs to get that Ultralis Cavern, get some good gas supply. He can hold with what he's got with enough swarms, but we have another movement towards the 9 o'clock. A Defiler is in position there with a handful of Lurkers. 9 o'clock base, not the gas mining, but not very well saturated otherwise. Dulife also in position to go ahead and deny additional bases, but Tartman in a really, really good position. Has a big drone lead, has that Ultralis Cavern going for these upgrades. Now some Irradiates finally being dropped. The drone count really has not been touched. The Filer, unfortunately, doing some additional damage. Ooh, able to pick off a Science Vessel there, which is worth the exchange. Unfortunately, uh, Tartman killing a few of his own drones with the Irradiated Defiler. But not that big a hit because he's still at a, 50, a very solid 52 count. And I would not be at all surprised to momentarily see, yeah, Ultralisks starting to be constructed. Tartman moving forward, eating some plagues. Actually, sorry, this is... Yeah. I thought that was Dulife maybe moving forward. Tartman. Science Vessel getting an additional Radiate, but a Science Vessel being lost, and Dulife really not doing a great job of protecting the Science Vessel count. That was going to be something that might have kept him in this match. Firebats in large numbers now taking the field, but this is as Ultralisks will shortly be fielded. Siege tank gone, so the front opened up. Do life reinforcing a little bit along that right-hand side, but mostly infilling the Firebats to the left. Ultralisks on site, clearing a lot of these troops. Firebats do not do very well against Ultralisks, although Medic and Marines do pretty well against just a single Ultralisk out of Swarm. Massive amounts of reinforcements making their way towards bottom left. This is a big moment. Firebats able to get on top of the Defilers. Unfortunately, yeah, that doesn't stop. The Dark Swarm doesn't stop uh, that. So, looks like Dulife able to get some Sunken Colonies down. He's going to at least be able to assault, assault a little bit of the natural, but here come the reinforcements in the form of the Ultralisks. The Marines diving into the drone lines, recognizing they need to get some sort of economic hit. The drones pulling out. And the Medic Marines just getting absolutely obliterated. So now all of a sudden, and Tartman able to just walk those troops right back. Tartman in firm control, big supply lead, has a lot of Ultralisks still out in the field. Dulife's troops mostly scattered. Does need to be concerned about Tartman starting to macro up and assault at all locations here. Level 2 Carapace 
matching the level 2 weapons, by the way, although it's a lot of Zerglings meeting some Fire Bats midfield. With the Adrenal upgrades, able to do some damage. A sneaky Command Center attempting to be, to be built. Two Ultralists are radiated, but that's going to be one down to Command Center. wonder if Dulife just trying to distract some of these attack forces. The Zergling finds an empty bunker here at the 3 o'clock. Going to reposition there. The Ultralisks also remaneuvering. They're going to go ahead and check. I think they're expecting a 6 o'clock base, but nothing there. More Zerglings just being migrated. And this single Zergling already got four SCV kills here at the inside three. Ultralisks softened from the earlier Radiates. Going to get obliterated, obliterated there, but the Zerglings flooding through. And things are looking grim for Dew Life. 35 workers left, more Zerglings flooding in, also a Defiler right there. Darkstorm has come a little bit late, so but there's more Zerglings and Ultralisks potentially coming from the north. Also, Tartman grabbing that inside 12 o'clock location. Dewlife down a massive amount of supply, down a considerable amount of workers. His main is going to mine out very shortly, and Tartman is sailing otherwise, so he needs to strike hard in multiple locations very, very rapidly and somehow dodge Ultralisks and everything else that are flooding out of Tartman's base. And with this attack here, mid-map, this does open up potential counterattacks so that Command Center's been relanded, but we have another Zergling Defiler attack force that could potentially just reassault without a lot of trouble. Science Vessels moving forward might be able to soften up two of these Ultralisks, but that Science Vessel count has been rather, rather low. Two battle cruisers now going to tax gas be able to wipe out those scourge before they land while I missed that looks like there's a plague and a continuation attack at that three o'clock see if Tartman can deal with that Ultralist is now moving forward Tartman actually in the red right here as an overlord has been killed out in the field but honestly I feel like this grouping of Ultralisks will be sufficient to wipe out that 3 o'clock, even with losing some... Are there Scourge? No, it looks like Hydralis defense. Initially, these Ultralists and reinforcements should be able to walk right in and just deal even with these bunkers that are now empty. And that should be game. Massive amounts of Terran blood on the ground. Looks like the Ultralist reinforcements were cut off, but that's not going to be sufficient to stop the movement into the natural expansion. Although the Battlecruiser is doing considerable amounts of damage in the rear here, dropping Tartman's drone count considerably. One has been plagued. The Hydra is not sufficient to defend it. Battlecruiser is trying to repel the Ultralists at the natural. Thing is, is even with these bases falling to the left, Tartman has more bases at the inside 12 and upper left to quickly resaturate. Also, I don't see... Okay, we do some see some science puzzles from the rear. So natural expansion gone, do life, lifted off command center. He's mining off one base that is very low on minerals. He doesn't have a lot of minerals left generally. The Ultral is starting to filter in. Going for a counterattack at the natural along the left. Dark Swarm is dropped. However, that is a Hydralisk underneath, so isn't going to be able... So they're just going to be kind of a showdown of nothing versus nothing right there. I think do life might get a bit of a pirate victory here where he's able to wipe out the natural expansion and maybe the nine o'clock basically everything here a lot of ultras being constructed on site the battle cruisers i don't know if they retreated or were wiped out by scourge i'm going to assume wiped out by scourge trying to trail the drones that hatchery was wiped out but there's still additional hatcheries to work with tartman just moving them to an opposite location the ultra is still working on the barracks and everything else you can see how long it takes those battle cruisers to deal with that do like just going to call gg right there move on to game two hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for listening